Hi, this is Ken Boyd with the Accounting Accidentally website. You can find over 300 blogs on the website here, and if you slide part of the way down, you will see links to over 400 YouTube videos. What I'd like to talk about here is weighted average shares outstanding, and I want to start with the basic formula, and then I want to talk about weighted average shares outstanding, which is part of the formula. So I've got a balance sheet and an income statement for Levi Jean Company here. And if you scroll down, earnings per share is defined as net income less preferred dividends because it's net income available to common shareholders divided by weighted average shares outstanding. So if I click on the cell, you'll see that the numerator is 7,000 dollars of net income and the denominator is 200,000 shares of weighted average shares that are outstanding. So the bigger point of this video is how do we figure out the weighted average number of shares outstanding which is the numerator in earnings per share and a common problem is is that you have transactions that change the number of shares during a year. So in this example on 2-1, we issue 10,000 more shares of common stock. We start the year January 1st at 20,000 shares. We issue 10,000 more, which means on February 1st, we have 30,000 shares. I'm going to explain this part of the chart later on. Then we issue a 10% stock dividend on March 1st, which means for every 10 shares of stock, you now have an extra share. So if there's 30,000 shares outstanding, 10% or 3,000 more shares get issued, which means that the total shares outstanding as of March 1st is green plus blue, 33,000 shares. May 1st, we buy 5,000 shares of Treasury stock, meaning that we buy back and take out of the market 5,000 shares. So the number of shares goes down on May 1st. The new total is... Blue minus green, 28,000 shares. So you can see that the total shares outstanding is changing as time goes on. June 1st, we get a 341 or 3 colon 1 stock split, which means for every one share you had before, you now have three. So what happens is we have 84,000 shares, which is the 28,000 times 3. So we now have 84,000 shares outstanding. And then on October 1st, we reissue 4,000 of the 5,000 shares of stock we bought into Treasury. We have 88,000 shares. So you'll see that shares change over the year, shares outstanding change. And the next step is to figure out the fraction of the year that each of these shares outstanding is correct. So for one month, we have 20,000 shares between January and February for one month, we have 30,000 shares between February and March 1st. And as you work your way down, you'll see that we split up the shares outstanding into fractions of a year, and we're gonna use that to multiply across to come up with weighted average shares outstanding in the next video. If you go over to Conference Room, my online community, you'll see that this article, 25 Intermediate Accounting Spreadsheets and How to Use Them. Sample chapters are available for a book I'm writing that will offer written text. You'll be able to navigate spreadsheets and have links to my YouTube videos all in the same document. It'll be available January of 2020. This is an example of the effective interest rate. You'll have 25 topics. And if you're interested in sample chapters, you can email me at ken at stltest.net. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.